Hello guys. Today I will talk about Ottoman Empire and their relations with the Central Powers. First of all the year is 1913 Ottoman Empire seeks protection from the Russian threat who wants to attack Ottoman Empire. The 23rd of January 1913 coup d'etat happened in Babali, the Ottoman Parliament, the Itahudists took revenge and forced Kamal Pasha to resign and give his power to the triumvirate. Enver Semel Talit. During the years before war Ottoman Empire asked to join first the British alliance Let me in. Let me in. No god No god please no no They rejected after they asked to join Entente with Russia and France but Omen and Noor Omen and Noor But they still rejected again In 1914 before the war after Anvers view about the world situation with his German fan he asked to join on the German side called Central Power. The war has begun. The Triumvirate asked to the Mekla C.I. Mavuzin to join the Central Powers nearly 80% declined and 20% accepted actually there were still high ranked government Pashas who wanted to join. The German embassy got the question first the Germans refused. Les, I, I can't. Let's do it. I'm so sorry. I. Let's do it. Because the Ottoman army was weak and tired and would cause much money and efforts to let them in. A couple of days later, German Emperor Kaiser Wilhelm II apologized and accepted the Ottomans in their faction. August 1, 1914, the Central Powers declared war on Russia. The Triumvirate were in shock. They wanted to follow neutral policy in this war but they had no choice or fear and get attacked by the Russians or join and show your last power before collapse, although the Russians collapsed before. On August 2, 1914, the Ottoman Empire and Germany signed a secret treaty and formalized the alliance, thus the two countries became allies in World War I. The text of the secret agreement is as follows. 1. The parties to the agreement undertake to remain neutral in the current conflict between Austria-Hungary and Serbia. 2. If Russia intervenes with active military steps and opposes Germany with the spy feederis through Austria-Hungary, the Ottoman Empire is also subject to the spy feederis. 3. Germany will leave its military mission to the Ottoman state in case of war. According to previous agreements between His Excellency, the Ottoman Minister of War and the German Chief of Military Mission, which came into effect immediately, the Ottoman state guarantees that said military mission will have effective influence in the overall command of the Ottoman army. For in case of threat and when necessary, Germany undertakes to defend the lands of the Ottoman Empire with armed forces. 5. This agreement is made to protect the two countries from international conflicts that may arise from the current conflict, it enters into force from the moment it is signed by the designated plenipotentiaries and is binding by all existing resolutions until December 31, 1918. 6. If either of the signatories does not notify the cancellation of the agreement by six months before the end of the agreement, the agreement will be extended for another five years. <laughs> 